proxy KPIs. Certain phenomena you cannot measure directly, therefore you have to devise a clever KPI that will enable you to somehow estimate how good or how bad you are in a certain area. So here I will show you some examples of proxy KPIs. So imagine that you were supposed to estimate the happiness of your customers. It's not measurable and it's difficult to find data for that. Therefore, you have to devise something which will enable you to estimate this phenomena. And one of the ways to treat it is, first of all, to look at the, something which is called net promoter score. So this is a KPI constructed in such a way that you deduct from promoters. So this is a percentage of people who are happy with your product, the detractors, so people who are not happy with your product. You can obviously also look at the average review, for example, on Yelp and Facebook. When it comes to efficiency of people in headquarter, this is something which is measurable, but it's difficult to do it because there are different processes and you cannot actually estimate how people are performing, what they're doing each and every day. There's hardly any reporting into that. It's not like production or sales. Therefore, quite often you will look at KPIs that are somehow trying to estimate that. So you could look, for example, at the sales per one person from headquarters and compare it with the competitors. Or you can look at the, something which is called overall labor efficiency, which shows you what percentage of the time is actually devoted to real productive work. And on the basis of that, you can know how efficient people are. And third example is pretty straightforward. So you'd most likely like to know how good an employer you are. Obviously, you don't measure it directly. So you have to come up with some estimations proxy of that. So here you, we could uh, actually devise plenty of KPIs. So one of them could be a place in the ranking of employers from your category. You can also look at the NPS from internal survey among employees. Another way to estimate it very indirectly is to look at the turnover rate. So if it's big, then it means that the people are not satisfied with how good you are as an employer. So you might be either not creating the right culture or you might simply underpay them. And finally, retention level of uh, the so-called stars or the best employees. If it's low, then it means that you are not attractive as an employer to your people. So that's in short. If you have any other questions how to estimate other things using the proxy KPIs, please let me know by posting a question in the discussion field or reach me directly in the Udemy Messenger.